Uh, hello viewers, uh, today's topic is uh, labyrinthitis, which is more commonly known as uh, vertigo. Uh, but before starting the topic, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Now, vertigo is a sensation of rotation, rocking, or uh, world spinning. Uh, experienced even when someone is uh, perfectly still, you know. And the many children attempt to create a sense of vertigo by spinning around for a time, you know. And uh, this type of induced vertigo lasts for a few moments and then disappears. Now, in comparison, when the vertigo occurs spontaneously or as a result of an injury, it tends to uh, last for many hours or even days before resolving, you know. Now, the sound waves travel through the outer ear canal until they reach the eardrum. And from there, the sound is turned into the vibrations, uh, which are transmitted uh, through the inner ear via the three small bones. They are known as incus, malleus, and the straps to the cochlea and the finally the vestibular nerve, which carries the signal to the brain. Now, another important part of the inner ear is the collection of the semicircular canals. Now, these are positioned at right angles to each other and are lined with the sensitive cells to act like a uh, gyroscope for the body, you know. And this distinctive arrangement is a combination with the uh, Sen sensitivity of the hair cells within the can uh, canals provide uh, instantaneous uh, feedback regarding our position in the space. You know. So these are what the uh, uh, vertigo is, you know. Uh, in the next videos I will explain uh, the vertigo causes signs and symptoms, treatment options, diagnosis, and the prognosis in detail. So keep watching. Thank you and goodbye.